break your bad habit or create a new habit of taking the time to actually do a quick visual sling inspection every time you lift. A lot of people get lazy, a lot of people think they don't have the time, but this is such a critical part of the safe lift and you're gonna uncover so many problems before you actually you know, have a failure, a catastrophic failure. Physically, either suspend it from a hoist or lay it on the ground and take a look from top to bottom trying to determine if there's any visual damage. If I see a tear in a synthetic sling, that's criteria for rejection. I don't have to look at the OSHA spec to figure out exactly what it is. If I see a hook that's twisted, that's criteria for rejection. I don't need to know that if it's 5%, 10%, or 12%. If you see anything that looks suspicious visually, then you need to go ahead and find another sling to use. At least until you can determine whether that sling is in fact safe for further usage or not. If you've got doubt, find another piece of rigging.